Woods and Water Big Game Adventures is brought to you by Arctic Cat, share our passion. Swarovski Optic, see the world through new eyes. Motorola, be out of doors, not out of touch. Dunstan Chestnut Magic, the ultimate deer attractant. Newfoundland Labrador Outfitters Association, unspoiled, untamed, unreal. Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Chestnut Hill Tree Farm, quality Dunstan chestnut and fruit trees. Wrangler Pro Gear, designed for hunters and outdoorsmen. Newfoundland and Labrador Tourism. Arluck Outfitters, big game hunting at its best. And Bob Vitro's True Life Taxidermy, safari specialists. Hello everyone, welcome to Woods and Waters. I'm Peter Fiducia. Those foothills you see behind me are the foothills to the Bighorn Mountains here in Buffalo, Wyoming. On today's program, we're going to be hunting with Pete Doobie out of Bear Track Outfitters. I've hunted with Pete over the last 26 years that we're taping this program four times and each hunt was a terrific hunt. So on this program, Kate's going to be hunting for antelope, Cody's going to be hunting for mule deer, and my job's going to be taping the program. It's going to be a terrific show. Before we go out and show you those hunts, let's talk to Pete Doobie and have him tell us a little bit about what he offers here at Bear Track Outfitters. Folks, uh, this is Pete Doobie, and Pete is the owner and operator of Bear Track Outfitters. Uh, Thanks for having us back, Pete. No this problem, is, our pleasure. Uh, uh, our pleasure as well. We've hunted with Pete four times over the last 26 years, and each one has been a terrific hunt, I gotta say that. Tell the people a little bit about what you offer here at Bear Track. Well, we offer spot and stock hunts for mule deer and antelope. It's all private land, all private leases. We hunt about a dozen different properties, so we have a lot of elbow room. A lot of tens of thousands of acres. Oh yes, yes, a lot yeah. of land. A lot, a lot of land to hunt. Right. The bulk of our hunters are combination, mule deer and antelope. But we have some guys just for antelope, some guys just for mule deer. It's primarily rifle. We do a little bit of archery mule deer in September. We try to cater to how the hunter hunts not so much how we hunt. The success rate is really high. Well, basically, if you can shoot, you're gonna get one. The only way you wouldn't get one is we have a lot of repeat clients. Okay. And we have a few that come year in and year out, maybe 15, 20 years. Wow. And they've shot a lot of critters. Yeah. So now they're looking for that special one. Right. It doesn't have to be monster size, but just something that tickles their fancy. So once in a while, they won't go home with one, but they'll hunt the whole week and have a good time doing it. Yeah, and I know um, this is a place where you can come and, and see mule deer 24 to even 30 inches wide. Oh, occasionally, yeah. The average size buck here is what? Well, for mule deer, our average is probably 22 to 25 inches wide, four and five on a side. Uh, good mature, you know, ear width bucks, good mature bucks. And then we're hoping to get the odd buck that's, you know, 26, 28, somewhere in that ballpark. Our area, our deer are more known for longer times as opposed to spread. Okay. Uh, antelope anywhere from 13 to 15, the average right around 14. Uh, average shots out here? We like to average around 200 yards. We okay. don't like to take real long shots. Uh, you know, we're the only ones out there hunting, so we don't have to worry about them going over the hill and the next guy's going to take a pot shot at him. As far as caliber, what do you suggest? Uh, 243, uh, 30 odd six, 308, 270, 7 million. It doesn't matter to me. It's more important that you're uh, good with the rifle. Comfortable you can use your with it, scope. Yeah. That's correct. That's the most important thing. And, and talking about scopes, optics. The most important thing you can have on a hunt out here, beside being able to shoot your rifle comfortably and accurately, are optics. Oh, exactly. I try to tell all of our clients that uh, you spend as much as you can afford. Even if it takes you a year or two to save up for it, mm -hmm. buy the best optics you can afford. And you know, and you put those that scope up or you put the binoculars up to take a look at a buck that you want to be shooting, you want to be able to see him. Yeah, when we hunt dark to dark. So that's important with the low light, but it's also important because we hunt wide open country. So we're looking as far as we can see. It could be two, three miles. I can tell you this. Not only is the hunting terrific, it's exciting, and it's very successful, but the lodging is comfortable, warm, and dry. The food is terrific. Carrie does a terrific job with that. She really does. Oh, yeah. She's, she, a, she's an expert in the kitchen. Yeah, she sure is. And uh, there's a place for a recreation room where you can sit down with the other hunters and have some fun talking, watching DVDs, even watching maybe a baseball game like I plan to do tonight. Exactly. Go Yankees. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say that. Can't there's, go for that. There's gonna, there's gonna be, go, go, go other teams, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thanks for having us here. Thank you very much. We appreciate really appreciate it having Kate and Cody an opportunity to go out and take some really nice animals, a mother-son hunt. Uh, looking forward to this, and I'm sure it's going to be very enjoyable. We'll Thanks. Enjoy too. Thanks. This segment of Woods and Water has been brought to you by 
part of CAT, share our passion. Welcome back to Woods and Water. This segment is brought to you by Newfoundland Labrador Outfitters Association. Before the hunt, our guest Jeff Elliott sights in at the shooting range to make sure his rifle was still on after his plane flight, and it was. Cody didn't have any problems with his rifle either. It was shooting right where it did before we left home. Kate was the last to shoot, and she drilled the bullseye, as usual. Well, I guess this didn't get banged around. It's right where it needs to be. The following morning, Kate's hunt began with spotting this small group of antelope. And he's gone. So what does he look like? Oh, he's a nice buck. He's your typical nice buck antelope. He's got good paddles, okay. pretty good mast, got good curl to him, but he's just a hair too short. Hair too short? Yeah, one more year. Oh, yeah. One more year. He is a nice... Yeah, he's a nice, yeah, I mean, he's a yeah. nice buck. He's just, right. just not quite what we're looking for. Okay. We'll let him, let him go so he can grow. Yep, exactly. Yep. Well, folks, we've had a great morning. We've had uh, several spot and stalks on these ranches, and um, we've, we've seen several herds of antelope, but some bucks that are just about the size like this one, where they're good representative. They're good at the area, but they're just a little bit less than what we want to take well, let's go check out some other country. Well, the weather's gotten a lot cooler. A lot nicer hunting weather. Absolutely. Game animals move and nicer for us, too. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, folks, we've been hunting since early this morning, and we've seen quite a few antelope herds with some nice bucks in them, but I just want to get one hold out just a little longer to see if I can get one a little larger. And um, Pete says he's got other properties that we can hunt on. Oh, yeah. We've got several other leases. We've got thousands of acres to look over. Thousands of acres sounds Thousands good. Thousands of acres. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, let's head out. After a morning of several spot and stalk hunts, Kate, Cody, and Pete take a lunch break. They discuss a plan to leave this property and drive to another ranch to hunt there. As often happens during a big game hunt, plans can change without warning. Pete spots a small herd of antelope casually feeding several hundred yards away. After glassing one buck carefully, Pete decides the hunt is on. Pete thinks he knows where the antelope buck is heading and sets a plan into motion. Folks, we just went about two to three hundred yards from where we spotted the antelope buck about six hundred yards out. Pete thinks he can bring us up to a spot to where he thinks the antelope are going to cross to where I can be just about 200 yards or less for my shot. We're going to cut him off. We've got to get going. Okay. All right, there they are. They're in good shape. We beat them down the draw. Okay. They're going to come out from left to right, so let's get up here, okay. pop by that bush and get set up. Got it. Sticks it up. He's coming out of that drop pretty quick. Okay. Okay. Set up. Chamber around. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled on. Okay. Here he's coming. Okay. Here he's coming. Yep. Just wait. Okay. I don't think we gotta quite get a good shot on him yet. Let's just wait a little bit. I got him. You got him? Just wait. He's probably gonna come down through that little draw. He'll come out the other side. Okay. He'll just hang tough. I will. I will. Come on, baby. All right, there he is. Seems coming out. Okay. All right. As soon as he stops, he's gonna right behind his shoulder. Got him. 
got him. Got him? Nice shot. That was exciting. That was very exciting. <laughs> that was pretty cool Thanks. how they walked right in front of us. Yeah. Kept getting closer and closer and closer. For an antelope that we saw that was, what, well over 600 yards well, away? Well, he was a long ways away. He was a long amazing. ways away. And then he came probably under 100, right? Oh, yeah. We just kept getting closer and closer and closer. And then he nicely stopped to take yeah. a bite to eat. Very obliging. <laughs> yes. <laughs> was beautiful. Nice shot. You made a good shot on him. Oh, thank you. Yeah. There oh, he we is. do have a great blood trail. That was a beautiful shot. Oh, and look at him. Let's check. Let's take care of the license first. Okay. You do the okay. signing and whatnot, and I'll do the notching. Thank you. You did a very good job. Thank you nice very animal. much. Nice buck. That was exciting. That was very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have a this segment of Woods and Water has been brought to you by Bob Vitro's True Life Taxidermy. Welcome back to Woods and Water. This segment is brought to you by Filson. Well, folks, we're here with Mike and Rick Mills of Catanning, Pennsylvania. They're here on a father-son hunt at Bear Track, and they both filled out, and we want to find out a little bit about their hunt. The guy gave me the okay, and we made another long-distance shot on him, about 275 yards. Well, that's Both great. deer um, fell right in our tracks. We yeah, didn't have one to track shot. Excellent. And your antelope? My antelope, we spotted in a herd, and it was a 300-yard shot. And I knew we'd get a little wind drift, so I just okay. compensated for it and then just dropped them. Well, that's great. great. Yep. And how do, you, how do you guys enjoy the accommodations here at Bear Track? Oh, it's, it's great. This is our second time here. The accommodations are phenomenal. The doobies just do a wonderful job. That's great. And the food? Unbelievable. You know, you come, the hunting is wonderful. The food is as good or better. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Well, that's important after a yeah. long day and come back and get something good to eat. Yep. Would you guys come back another time? Oh, absolutely. I We're already wait. planning it. I good. Two, You're planning it? I have two young sons, so I just got to get them old enough to bring them here. Yep. That's excellent. Great. That's well, thanks, thanks for talking oh, to us, guys. Our pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hi, folks. I'm here with Catherine and Charles McTurnan from McKinney, which is in the great state of Texas. Okay. And they're here on a combination hunt, a senior hunt. Yes. And uh, both have filled out early in their hunt. And uh, Catherine, tell me a little bit about your great buck antelope that you shot just yesterday. Uh, the buck antelope was quite an experience because I had to practice for distance. Okay. I did take him uh, a little over 250 yards. That's great. And I have to emphasize that practice is, makes perfect. It was a hard a shot. And it was a beautiful buck. shot. Yes. Beautiful buck. Very happy with that. <laughs> That's great. And your antelope buck? Uh, that was a, a challenging shot. Uh, the antelope were still running. They were running around like crazy. And uh, picking the right butt was uh, problematical. Uh, but we finally did uh, a very close shot, uh, I would say within 100 yards. And uh, turned out to be a nice buck. It's a beautiful buck. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank That's you. That's great. Overall experience being here with Pete Doobie at Bear Track Outfitters. Catherine. Well, I have to say, uh, I don't have the experience that my husband has been a world traveler. And, but I, from my experience, it was a wonderful uh, time. Uh, it was a uh, hunting moon, hunting moon. Hunting moon, your yes, anniversary is our, anni up. our anniversary, our sixth anniversary. And we stayed at the honeymoon suite. <laughs> and the, the food was wonderful. The, uh, and everything is so personal that we've thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. We're coming back. I want to bring my son and, and my grandson. They both oh. are bow hunters, so they would come at a different time, but I, right. we enjoy it. Oh, wonderful. And Charles, you've... Uh, I have a lot of experience at this kind of thing, and I've got to say, this ranks among the uh, top three uh, best accommodations, yes. best hunt, uh, best guides. Uh, I can't say enough good things about the whole operation. That's wonderful. And now you have some time. Yes, so we have time. We're going to go down into the town uh, of Buffalo and, and up into Yellowstone. Everything is, is, is very close. Uh, even the scenery, just from the lodge itself, yes. is, is breathtaking. Beautiful. And it, it, it is quite, quite nice. Well, Beautiful great. trails. Thank you. Thank you. And thank and you for thank sharing your oh, experiences. Thanks, Kate. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome.
Well, you know, folks, there are a few aspects to think of when you're on a western hunt, one of which is glassing, and because you're obviously going to be looking for, for your animals, whether they be mule deer or antelope or sometimes even whitetail, the first thing you want to think of is being comfortable. You're going to be glassing for half hour, 45 minutes, an hour, sometimes more. And so you want to get into a spot where you know you don't have a rock poking you in your back or you're sitting on uncomfortable ground. That's why I always bring a, a thermos seat or something just to sit on a jacket even. So to get that there and you're comfortable and then you're ready to glass. And that can be eight, nine hundred, a thousand yards out. And so you want to, that's the more important glassing that you want to do is out far. Uh, because when you're glassing 200, 300 yards, chances are that buck has already seen you. You want to remember that the more important glassing happens far out. Hello folks, I'd like to give you a tip about western hunting, especially with us out here at Bear Track Outfitters. Binoculars are very important. Uh, 8 buys, 10 buys, 12 buys, it doesn't really matter, as long as they're not the little small mini binoculars. I like to tell a lot of my guides, if you haven't glassed all day and your eyes aren't are tired and bugging out by the end of the day, you haven't glassed enough. So you, you really, they're very, very important. The clarity you have, you're hunting from dusk, uh, dark to dark, so you definitely need a, a binocular that has, takes in a lot of light and, and gathers a lot of light. We're looking as far as we can see. I look every little nook and cranny. I don't worry about just what I can shoot or what my hunter can get to as far as range of his rifle. I'm looking as far as I can possibly see on the property we're hunting. It could be two miles. Uh, when it's hot, you're looking in shady spots, looking under trees, looking under a cedar tree, just wherever it is. You just look as far as you can all, all the time because you never know what you can see. You'll never, you might not know whether it's, it's big enough to shoot, but you'll know whether it's big enough to go look at and take a little better look at it. So uh, look as far as you can with as best optics as you can possibly afford. This segment of Woods and Water has been brought to you by Motorola. Be out of doors, not out of touch. Welcome back to Woods and Water. This segment is brought to you by Swarovski Optic. See the unseen. Today's Woods and Water Big Game Tip of the Week is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition. Folks, on this week's Big Game Tip of the Week, I want to mention something that is sometimes overlooked by hunters who travel a lot, fly uh, to hunt Newfoundland for moose or Colorado for elk, and they get there and they go to sight in at the range and the outfitter happens to be out of targets or he doesn't have a range that's up to par. This is what I recommend. Get yourself a dozen of these type of targets uh, that peel off like this and if necessary, if you're really in a rustic camp and you want to stick it on a piece of plywood or you want to stick it on a, a dead tree or whatever, uh, or on a, on a range, a regular range, you don't have to worry about whether or not who, somebody's got tacks or somebody's got staples. Uh, they stick easily and uh, you'll get your sighting in done right. Uh, the big thing with this is that uh, they come in different sizes, so uh, you can get them in this size, you can get them a little larger. Uh, the key is to make sure that you get the sticky type. And you'll do yourself a favor, believe me, many times I've gone to uh, some outfitter out in the boonies somewhere and they don't have all the facilities that they should have as far as a range goes. And I'm always prepared, I always have a target that I can stick up someplace and wind up sighting in my rifle to make sure it's on. Believe me, having a target with you pay big dividends, you pay a lot for the hunt, you want to make sure that your rifle's on, you want to make sure that that shot counts. Folks, as a reminder, please don't forget to tune in next week for part two of this show. I promise you, you won't want to miss Cody taking this terrific 6x5 buck. Well, folks, our hunt has come to a close. We had a terrific time. Pete, I want to thank you for having us here. Thank it was you. a pleasure being here again. I've come here, folks, over the last uh, 20, 25 years, and every time we've had a successful hunt. And uh, Cody went home with a smile on his face, I can tell you that. Yeah. Ear to ear, he was happy with that buck, had a terrific time, enjoyed the hunt, joined the stalk. Kate, too, killed a terrific antelope, uh, job well done. And I can tell you something for sure about hunting here with Pete. For the years that I've come here, you've had a, a tremendous amount of success with your hunters. 
Yeah, we like to tell guys that we're at or near 100%. Yeah, I know you also do, if you fill out early, other things, prairie dog, Right, coyote. prairie dog, sightseeing, fishing, and we do some doe hunting as well. That's excellent. Give him a call, visit him on his website, and uh, I know you'll enjoy this hunt. Pete, thank you so much. Thank you. Knives and game processing kits for Woods and Water TV are provided by Outdoor Edge, the finest quality knives and tools for the big game hunter.